look much healthier now. You were actually asleep for three whole days, you know. Your wounds had healed, but your body itself became quite frail. You seem to be perfectly okay now, though, so I'm glad. Oh, please excuse me. Allow me to introduce myself properly. My name is Olha, and I am a Redden Priestess. Uh, you said your name was Ada, correct? So, how did you end up washing ashore on our island anyway? Pirate? Ralmans? I do not understand, but your situation seems similar to other Eresians, though. Well, I'm sure there is a lot you still don't understand, so I shall answer whatever questions I can. Please ask me anything you want. <laughs> you think my ears and tail unusual? Eresians, outsiders are always surprised. But we Redda find people with small ears and no tail such as yourself quite strange. <laughs> that makes us even. Since ancient times, we Redda have dwelt here on the Canaan Islands. Through Alma's grace, we have received the bounty of the forest and ocean. But I suppose our way of life may differ from that of you Eurasians. Many from beyond the great vortex have washed ashore, just like you. We call all such people Eresians. In the northeast, these people have built and live in a stone settlement. It's on Kanan Island. Unfortunately, though, you can't get there right now. great vortex that you got trapped in. The Kanan Islands are actually inside of it. We Redda live on Quatera Island, blessed with heavily wooded areas. Kanan Island has plains and mountains. The Eresians live there. Lastly, there's Zemeth Island in the Inland Sea, home to ancient ruins. Combined, these three form a chain known as the Kanan Islands. Oh, have you already met her? She is Isha, my younger sister. She has always been rather shy around the Rizians. So I think that must be why she seems to be avoiding you. She can be timid, but she's a good, tender-hearted girl. I'd love to see you two get to know each other. His name is Ord. He's our uncle and the chief of the Redda tribe. He is not only a warrior and a hunter, but a sage well versed in our legends. Ah, uh, Sir Adol? Please, do not worry about what my uncle said to you. He has a bit of a grudge against Eresians due to some recent events. Once we explain things to him in more detail, he'll come around. I will be staying in this room, carrying out my duties as a priestess. But if there is anything you need to know, you are always free to ask me. Come to your senses. You may call me Silva. I am a warrior of the Redda. Though the very sight of you makes my skin crawl, I carried you here at Oha's request. I would have never aided you otherwise. Ah! Uh, I'm sorry. You startled me. I've heard about you from Oha. Are you well already?
So you're the Aresian that everyone's talking about. Strange things have been happening here lately, so everyone's uneasy. Try not to cause any trouble, okay? Whoops. Ah, so, you having a cup too? Huh? Since when did a reasons have red hair? Whoa! Who are you, mister? Hmm, so you're the Aresian everyone's talking about. There are many among us, rather, who do not think well of your kind. It's not any fault of yours. It's because we've had many problems with other Eresians living here. I'm sure there are some in the village who'll speak ill of you, but please try not to blame them. Hey, mister! Who are you? You've got short ears and no tail. Are you a friend of Sir Kevin? Oh, are you the Aresian that Olha was talking about? <laughs> I'm glad you're okay. I'm surprised Chief Ord allowed it. Wash ashore here on Quaterra Island? I'm surprised that the Reda even cared for you. My name is Kevin. Like you, I also washed ashore here from the outside. What am I doing here, you ask? I'm here peddling goods from the neighboring island of Canaan. Is there anything you need? If you need some help, just let me know. I'm actually a warrior of the tribe. Nice to meet you. 